Yesterday, I had an amazing opportunity to do something that was on my bucket list. But afterwards, I was all in my head about, ooh, I should have done this better, I should have done this different, and I went about my day and had to do other things. Well, it all caught up with me at night. So I went to bed and I had some nightmares and I woke up at 2 a.m. just <laughs> in my head and just feeling so yucky inside. And so I said, okay, it's time to process some, emo some emotion. So the first overwhelming feeling I had was regret. So I had to imagine, what does this regret feel like? It feels like two huge boulders, one in my stomach and one in my throat. And they're kind of fuzzy and they're really heavy and they're like a bluish gray and they're just rolling and turning in my throat and in my stomach. And so after about one to two minutes of me feeling this regret and letting it process through my body, then I moved on to my secondary emotion, which I found out was embarrassment. I felt embarrassed. Now keep in mind, everything that we are feeling is only because of thoughts in our brain. If I'm thinking thoughts that make me, um, if I'm thinking thoughts like, oh, I shouldn't have done this, I should have done that, I'm naturally going to feel regret or embarrassed or some other negative emotion. So I decided to process that negative emotion of embarrassment. It feels like this red hot flame of lava and it's in my stomach and I imagine, you know, in the movie Aladdin where the cave is closing in and the lava is going nuts, that's what it felt like in my stomach. And it pushes this lava up my throat and it burns. And so I imagine that's what embarrassment feels like in my body. And once I did that, once I processed it, then I was done feeling the things, but I had to tell my brain, we are done with thinking we shoulda, woulda, coulda done it better. No more of that. If you're going to let your brain think about the negative side for this amount of time, I want you to try to do the same for the opposite. It's called equal airtime. It's like if you're gonna watch Fox News, you need to watch CNN as well. You need to see both sides. So if I'm gonna let my brain tell me all these negative things about how I did it wrong, then let me turn the coin over and say, but what did you do right, Jana? You had courage and you showed up and X, Y, and Z. That's not the point. The point is whatever you're feeling, it's because of thoughts in your head. And so if you need to process that emotion, imagine what it looks like and feels like in your body, that's gonna help it move through you. And if you need to you know, check yourself and say, what am I thinking that's making me feel this? Then take an inventory. You can write down all your thoughts that you have about yourself and notice they're not even true. These things that you're thinking, they're not facts. And if you're gonna spend time in the negative, you gotta do the opposite and think about yourself in a positive way.